Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tim. I'm here at the Donor Automotive Video Studio in Anchorage, Alaska. And I got a quick tip for you if you're dealing with one of these 09 through 2017-ish Chevy Traverse or the GMC Acadia and you have some low beam headlight issues. This customer came in this morning with a complaint of no low beam headlamps and uh, it's gonna be the bulbs. Uh, occasionally they both burn out at the same time. Sometimes uh, I think the customer doesn't notice until they both burn out. Uh, and uh, I don't know all the ins and outs about that, but it, it does happen. Uh, basically, if you're doing just the bulb, you can sneak them out through this inner fender well. I've got this vehicle lifted and supported on my four, four post hoist. Uh, if, if you don't necessarily have to remove the tire, you can, if you're doing the left front, uh, like I'm doing here, you could turn the wheel all the way to the right and access it. I'll show you how here. If you're removing the whole headlamp assembly, then that's going to require removing the front bumper fascia and some grill and other hardware to access the whole lens. But there is a spot up in here. Show you it's pretty quick. Doesn't require even removal of the entire wheel well like the uh, manual will tell you to do. But actually just these two Torx, uh, these are like, what, T15? T15 Torx just inside the fascia here on the inner wheel well. Uh, if you do lift it, lift safely. Uh, forget if I mentioned that, but you don't want a car on your head. It's not a good way to start the day. We started today about nine degrees Fahrenheit and uh, clear skies, and we're expecting snow a little bit later, so the temperature will come up a bit, and uh, I'll be out there snow blowing more than likely. Always fun. All right, once you got those two removed, you can peel this inner wheel well back and get some light up in here. And right up in here, you can see Right, that round cover there is the access cover for the low beam headlight bulb. I'll reach up in there. Can you see that? I can see your hand. Rotate that cover counterclockwise. Try to get some more light on the subject matter here. And then if you reach up in the hole and rotate the whole bulb and socket counterclockwise. A little tricky pull the whole thing back and uh, disconnect the connector. Here's your bulb. So uh, I definitely recommend just a standard headlight bulb. Uh, it seems like these aftermarket bulbs that are uh, high intensity, blah, 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 super vivid, yada, yada, uh, can cause problems with your wiring if they're drawing too much amperage. So be mindful about that. They're not always what they're advertised as. It's just not a good lighting system in here to see what we're doing, but I think you probably get the idea. To plug that light back on. back in, make sure it's fully seated in there. There we 
go. Now I'll just button this wheel well up and uh, we'll get her back on the road. We'll verify that that's what's going on, but uh, as you can see that the element's fried on this thing. Not surprising, not the first time we've seen it, won't be the last. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. I hope this video has been helpful and uh, wish you good luck with your repairs. Have a good one.